This StarCast show, just like all of our StarCast shows, are available at adfreeshows.com. Welcome back to the ring. Thank you. Was it fun for you? It was fun. It was, um, it was nerve-wracking because backstage I was like, I, I don't know if people are going to remember me. I'm going to walk out and be like, oh, I think I... Isn't she How, the one? Stop. To go, it's gonna I be like don't people are gonna chatter. remember me. I don't know if people are gonna remember me. Uh, but right? It was a nice welcome back. So how did that all come about? Let me ask you that, and then I'll, I'll let Lita jump in here. It's her show, not mine. I apologize. How did that all come about? Because I think everybody kind of assumed you had moved on to the next plane of existence, which was acting and Netflix and yes. Glow, which you're amazing at. Thank that, you. Phenomenal. But <laughs> telling you, amazing. <laughs> What brought you, you know, kind of like what, what kind of like George Costanza? They pull me back in, Jerry. Like, what happened? Oh, uh, I got a call and I was like, Yeah, okay, I'll do that. And it was months ago, and I had to keep it a secret. And I had, you know, I keep in touch with people in wrestling, and they would talk and say stuff. And I was like, mm. And I would just have to nod and keep the secret because I think only like four people in the universe knew. I had to come to Vegas, like incognito with glasses, like I was. <laughs> It was really weird, it was, but it was fun, all the intrigue. So were you more nervous last night than you can remember? Did it feel like your, your first time again? It did, especially because we got these young whippersnappers I had to keep up with. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when I was the whippersnapper, but now we got, we got this new generation, and um, I think they did us proud last night. It was awesome. Yeah. I, I, and no, no pun intended, honestly. But like the, the, everyone thought Brandy was going to wrestle. Mm. And I could hear the crowd kind of like, uh, what's this? Is this going to be some Stephanie McMahon, Nepal, you know, n n weird thing where they're going to force themselves on the show? And then when she said, no, it's going to be awesome, and the, your name came up, rows of people just jumped up, wave, 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 wave. It was ridiculous. So I don't know how much of that you could have seen in, in the zone, but the entire building was like, what? Yeah. And it's been a long time since there were surprises like that, right? And that was like a cool moment. Yeah, it was uh, the, the night before, because it's been like three years since I've, you know, had braids and had to wear this costume. And um, the night before I was in bed and I was like trying to summon Kong. And I was like, are you going to be there? And it was like that scene in like the Avengers where the Hulk was like, no. And I was like, please. <laughs> <laughs> I need you there. <laughs> and thankfully, DDP was backstage right before I went on. And he gave me like the best like pep talk and his like piercing blue eyes were like staring into mine he was like hey you could do it you are this in positive thinking did you read my book of positive thinking you gotta read the book of positive thinking you go out there and i was like i'm gonna order it now on amazon they'll be home for me when i get there i'm going now and like he gave me like, the strength to go out there and like be and so kong kong showed up for ddb <laughs> hey hey it's conrad thompson thanks for checking out the podcast here on youtube be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.